Okay, so excuse the GoPro footage and the um, terrible audio here, but best camera's the one you have with you, right? So now I'm realizing I have my cell phone in my pocket. Anyway, we're at a cool place today. So this is a random flying day. I don't have any agenda. This will be the last flight on the Adventure Crossfire 17 meter that I've been demoing. So we can talk about that when we get up there, but I'm gonna record today because this is one of the coolest places um, that I've flown around me. So. Um, we're at my buddy's house. He has a construction site right next to his house. He lives near the water, so we can take off and we're at the water in a few minutes. And uh, it's usually gorgeous flying. So I'll take you guys along with me for this one, and uh, we'll see what we get. Peace. So it is, it's pretty bumpy up here, but um, it's nice, man. Look at this. Also, I didn't mention it on the ground, but I am demoing a three blade e prop from the guys at Sky Sports. So um, this video is not sponsored by them. I'm just giving them a shout out because I love SkySportsUSA.net. These guys, um, they're universally awesome. So I know some people are thinking, well, they're nice to you because you have a YouTube channel, but that's not the case. Um, all my friends that buy from Sky Sports have awesome experiences. They have great customer service, fast shipping. Um, recently, I bought some um, starter parts for my buddy's Scout, and um, I had a question on some parts that it came with, and the owner of the company actually called me on the phone to clarify some things for me. So they always go above and beyond. So huge thanks to SkySportsUSA.net. I'll put a link to them in the description. If you guys need anything PPG related, they got Vitarazzi parts, they actually sell paramotors, wings, I believe, and then just basically any part for the uh, most 185, and they might even have other engine parts, I'm really not sure. Um, but awesome website, awesome customer service, tons of stuff in stock and fast shipping, so thank you Sky Sports, and um, yeah. So yeah, today is my last flight on the Adventure Crossfire 17 meter, so I'm about to ship it out. It's actually going to Mitch G. So if any guys um, follow Mitch G's channel, I'll put a link to his channel below. But the wing is going to him next. So he's actually one of the dudes that I um, go to for wing reviews. I really respect his uh, his reviews and his input on, on the way a wing flies. So I'll be interested to see what he says about this wing. Other than that, I'm going to wait here for a minute for my buddy to uh, <clears throat> see if his get a scout started I feel kind of bad flying without him but there's a lot of water here as you can see so if we were going on a cross-country flight we have flown out to the Arthur Ravenaugh bridge there it goes from Charleston to Mount Pleasant that's an awesome flight and you can pretty much hug the island all the way to the bridge which is nice you can always be over land which is always a good idea so I'm gonna hang around here this could be boring right now I'm gonna watch and see if Lee can get his motor started and um, yeah, we'll go from there. But while we wait, I can give you guys my thoughts on the three blade E prop. So, I'm probably not gonna tell you anything you guys don't know, but I'll confirm some things. One, it's a little bit louder. Um, the noise on the ground, I heard some people tell me it wasn't louder, and then a, a bunch of people tell me it was. Um, and it sounds louder in the air, so I'm going with it's louder on the ground too. Um, it's kind of a higher pitch noise. If you guys have heard them in person, they, they kind of almost scream a little bit. I think they sound awesome. Um, I don't know how they sound in a vlog, so this is my first time actually vlogging in the air with the uh, three blades, so I don't know how it sounds until I go edit it. But um, it takes a little bit more RPM to get off the ground, surprisingly. So it's like you, it, you expect more thrust, but for whatever reason, I got to be in it a little bit more throttle wise rpm wise rather to get in the air and then once you're in the air it's a little bit slower to uh, uh spool up that's just because there's more mass 
and you definitely, definitely get more thrust. I don't know what the thrust numbers are. I think someone told me 15% more, um, but it is noticeable. You definitely, you definitely feel it. So you're getting more thrust out of the top end of it. So if you're an acro guy and like to climb up and do an acro run, climb back up, this would be a good choice for you. And I'm hitting a thermal right here, probably coming off this field. So I just gained some altitude. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I definitely like it. I have not bought it yet. I was hoping I wouldn't like it so I wouldn't have to make a tough decision because we're still in the middle of all this COVID stuff. So I still have a job, but you never know, man. I'm trying not to spend any cash. Be smart with my finances until, uh, until I know what's going on. Oh yeah, one final thing about the EPROP. Uh, the vibration is a uh, higher higher frequency, so it's it feels a much smoother which makes sense, right? So it's definitely smoother. I like that part about it. Um, I am getting like a resonance kind of like a At certain RPMs, but That's really not that bothersome. Oh, man, it doesn't look like he's getting in the air I right, almost stop chatting. I'll leave you guys with some flight footage if Lee doesn't get in the air and if he does we'll do a little dual vlog action actually no we won't because you can't hear what he says so I'm just going to leave you Well, today was a bust, but I got a one wheel and he has a boosted board, so we're gonna go mess around on those. Well, today's flight was kind of a bust, but still beautiful weather, so we took the one wheel and the boosted board out and we're having a good time still. And yeah, um, just a huge shout out to the guys at Sky Sports USA. Thank you guys very much. If you guys need anything for your paramotor, your Moster 185, anything like that, reach out to those guys, um, skysportsusa.net. Awesome customer service, like I said, and um, they've always uh, gone above and beyond to help me out. If you guys have questions on the Adventure Crossfire, reach out to the guys at Fly PPG. There's a link in the description for them. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of this night, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace. my shittiest camera but it lasts so long it's got full battery and 40 minutes in